Welcome back to Akron Summit's franchise. Still can't believe we are 4-1 to start this season with this team here. I had to blink. I thought it said 1-4. I can't believe it. And we're taking on a Pittsburgh Steelers team who's 2-3 and three today, but they got a really, really good defense. They got a really good pass rusher in TJ Watt, and they are probably going to be looking to give our offensive line some fits. We also got mock draft one coming up here, so we should have a pretty high pick in that, I would imagine, with the good record that we have. But we got to take a look and see who is mocked to go to us right now. We got some player negotiations that we got to settle up today. We also got to get got to get a look at this Pittsburgh Steelers team and game plan accordingly. We got a lot to get into today. Cue the intro, man. Currently left end Charles McIntosh out of Utah is projected to go number one overall to the Lions. There's a corner in there. There's a linebacker. So really all defensive guys. And that's good for us because we are targeting a quarterback. And if you guys have been watching this series, there's like four projected to go in the first round. There's Devin Scott right there. Right now they have us picking 27th and they have us going with Kevin Saunders out of Michigan, which honestly... I mean, we're really early in the season, so these guys are only 20% scouted. But out of the four that I looked at, I want to say Saunders kind of looked the best. He's 6'3", 221. Don't like that he's from Michigan, being uh, being in Ohio here, but I can get over that. If he's good. If he's good. He's a scrambler with A, short accuracy. I, elite to great throw power. I love it. Awesome. And yeah, I mean, good to solid speed. Great to good agility. He might be the one, and the draft has us uh, has him fallen to us right now. Again, we don't know too much about it about him really because it's so early on. But he is one of the guys. And just to refresh your guys' memories on the quarterbacks that we're taking a look at here, we got uh, Kevin Saunders, who I just showed you. We got Devin Scott out of North Dakota State, Glenn Fox out of Texas, and then George Brackett out of Penn State. Devin Scott is mocked to go in front of us. Now he's six foot four, 231 pounds out of North Dakota State. Maybe the uh, next uh, Trey Lance prospect, right? Um, hopefully not for Devin Scott's sake. But I mean, I think Saunders looks better, if I'm being honest. I mean, definitely athletics wise. I mean, unless Scott is just A's across the board and, you know, we're not seeing it yet. I, I kind of like Saunders better. Len Fox is another big, tall guy, 6'5", 231, kind of a Justin Herbert type of build. He's also got elite to great throw power, but Saunders is the better athlete, Look, at least from what we see now. So uh, I kind of like the fact that Saunders has fallen down to us, and he may be the guy that we go after in the draft. Gonna try to get Nate Hobbs today. He uh, rejected us last time. I think we were close. He seemed... To be kind of liking the deal we offered him a a, a four-year 26.4 million dollar deal which was over the expected value our salary cap is in a pretty good spot so i mean i would think he would take maybe four years 28.4 million and he does so nate hobbs is back we definitely need to Stay good in the cornerback room because I was going through the draft and there is not a lot to like when it comes to cornerbacks. I don't really know about these other players. Uh, Robert Spillane, probably, but I'm going to hold off. Madison, I mean, if he have has a game like he had last episode where he just went off, maybe he's the guy. If he can get a dev upgrade or a breakout scenario, I think that we will definitely make him our running back of the future. But going to hold off for right now. And I mean, there are some other pieces here, but I want to see if any of these guys' interests go up because right now we'd have to overpay. And uh, let's be honest, a lot of these guys just really aren't worth overpaying for. <laughs> Taking on a good Pittsburgh Steelers defense today. First in opponents' pass yards per game. We are fourth in passing yards, so something's got to give today. You know, one of these teams is going to probably fall out of character, and I hope that it's the Steelers. Uh, they are also second in the league in total opponent points per game at only 13. They got TJ Watt. We know how good he is. If we win today and the Chiefs lose, we're number one in the AFC West. I can't even believe that I'm saying that, but you see there at the top right uh, in the stats, TJ Watt does lead the NFL 
in sacks today, so I am definitely going to make uh, Blitz Counter our uh, game plan focus with, uh, not sure if it'll be Justin, I guess it's Justin Fields starting today, and with that being said, I want to make him beat us deep. I mean, Justin Fields has looked pretty good in real life up until this point, although I think the Steelers are probably going to go with uh, Russell Wilson. It's looking like that anyways. But yeah, you see that guy cheesing with the pearly whites on the screen. I mean, Pittsburgh is just so great at defense as they are in real life. So definitely blitz counter is the way to go today. And one thing to note, we do have Brock Bowers back in the lineup. And we're going to put him back as our focus player because he's been hurt for the last couple weeks. And hopefully he can be the guy that we need to uh, elevate this team even further into a deep season run. Upgrade for Trey Tucker here, who really started off the season hot. He's kind of cooled down. At one point, I believe he was like the second or third leading receiver in the NFL in terms of overall yards. And we haven't really seen that too much, but he's still a good part of our team. And I'm going to go ahead and give him a slot upgrade that, that didn't get his overall up. Usually you get pretty good upgrades with slot uh, plus four catching traffic. I mean, that's that's pretty good, but that was kind of a stinker in terms of typical upgrades. But we are set here, guys, and ready to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Can we improve to five and one on the season? And can we pass the Kansas City Chiefs? That is the question. If you guys are fired up for some more Akron Summits franchise, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Trying to get up to 2,000 subscribers now. Thank you for helping me get that 1K, but now we got bigger fish to fry. But without further ado, let's get on down to Rubber City Stadium in Akron, Ohio, and get ready for the game. Opening kick is up and into the sky from Chris Boswell. Trey Tucker going to field this thing and see what uh, the Summits offense they've been I don't want to say they've been cooking, but they've definitely exceeded expectations. So has this guy right here, Garner Minshew. I believe at one point in time, he was maybe leading the NFL in passing yards. I know he's not now, but you know, a two to one interception ratio, not the worst thing in the world. Five interceptions. So really averaging one pick per game, which I mean, for me and Garner Minshew, like for both of us. Not the worst thing in the world. Let's see what Madison can do. He's coming off a pretty big game. And no blocking there. Larry Ogan Joby going to stop him. But yeah, you see, last week almost a buck 50, a touchdown with his uh, receiving yards that he had. I'm sure he was close to 200 all purpose yards. That is a running back of the future type of numbers. Now, can he keep it up and sustain it? That's the big question. We shall see. But well, here on second down, let's just go to, that's not a good pass there at all by Minshew. We had Harrison Bryant pretty much wide open in the field, and Minshew just missed him. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, that is why we are 100% going quarterback in round one, unless something crazy happens. Uh, Minshew is just not the long-term guy. But third and nine here, who can get open? Maybe Jacoby Myers. We're going to go that way. Oh, Myers with the heck of a catch. Threw it right in front of Minka Fitzpatrick, one of the better safeties in the league. Jacoby Myers has been great for us this season. Now, that was a dart by Minshew. I mean, let it beautifully. Jacoby Myers caught it, hung on through contact. You see uh, Coach Smalls there loving it. And we were able to move the chains, keep this drive going. And I think here on first and 10 from the 39, we go back to Madison. I, I really want to see what we have with him because, uh, you know, Probably not going to be in a position to target uh, running back high in the draft. Not sure who's going to be there in free agency. So uh, Madison does have a chance to, to play a key role on this team. It just really all depends on, you know, what he does these next couple of weeks. Uh, second and seven here. We're coming out passing formation, of course. And let's just hit Brock Bowers, who's coming back from injury and uh, kind of thrown at the feet there gonna make it third and seven tough down and distance here to pick up i'm gonna put adams on a curl i think and we're also gonna kind of custom stem this puppy he might actually be my first read we're gonna go to him Devonte, beautiful oh and by the way as i record this here it is tuesday 6 30 p.m roughly Devonte adams headed to the jets i'm sure by the time this video comes out, I'm not telling you guys nothing that you don't already know, but headed to the Jets, 
to reunite with Aaron Rodgers. Will that even make a difference? Hard to say. I mean, the Jets got a lot going on. They fired Robert Sala. They demoted Dan Nathaniel Hackett. Rodgers has looked pretty good at times, but also kind of kind of showing his age a bit. So, I mean, having Devontae Adams, and they, they got him for, what, a third-round pick, I believe. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's not the worst trade in the world, and I'm sure Rodgers is happy. Let's see if Madison can pick up some good yards here and make me happy. He's not going to because Big Cam Hayward there is there to drill us and another third down from the Summits. Okay, we've converted two of them so far. Can we convert one more? I'm going to have Amir Abdullah help out in the blocking game and just see one of these uh, crossers can possibly get open. It's Adams again. He catches it with room to roam. He's having a great season for us, man. One of those games he had like close to 200 yards picking up a tough, tough third down there through the air. I like this drive here, and I mean, uh, what is going on with Jacoby Myers? There's nobody out there. Come on, Devontae. Devontae out there setting some blocks, and Myers fumbled in. It couldn't go out of bounds. Dante Jackson picks it up. That ball just sat there for a minute, man. I thought for sure. Oh, wait a minute. It must have went out of bounds because they're saying we still got it. Wow. We dodged a bullet on that one. Let's see. A uh, ball pops out there. Oh, the player was out of bounds as he touched it. Okay. Hey, props to Madden. I'm surprised that they, they have that logic in the game. Like, I'm surprised it's not Pittsburgh's ball right now. Uh, that was pretty good. You don't oftentimes see good logic in a, a Madden game. But there you go. Crisis averted. First and 10, going to come out play action and see who can get open here. Jacoby Myers. That's going to be picked by Minka Fitzpatrick. Yep. Yep. I was talking about him earlier. We dodged a bullet on that one third down. Minshew kind of lofted that one, unfortunately. And you got to be aware at all times where Minka Fitzpatrick is on the field. He's one of the best safeties in the league. I thought we had Myers. Guess, uh, yeah, man, that's just a good play by Fitzpatrick. It wasn't, ball should have got there a little bit sooner, I guess. But Pittsburgh going to take over with Justin Fields at the helm, who may be benched in real life. We don't know yet. Uh, in this game, maybe he should be benched too. Not really playing great this season. Four touchdowns to four picks. And we'll see how he does today. We'll start out here shotgun. And we got three down linemen. So big uh, nickel set in the game. It's going to be a give to not Najee Harris, but Jalen Warren, who is only able to pick up a couple because he has stopped there by, uh, I believe, Divine Diablo was the first one to get him. And good uh, opening drive at defense or opening play defense, I should say, by the Summits. Let's send a little pressure at fields. He does tend to... Get a little paranoid in that pocket. Look at Robert Spillane back there shooting a gap. He's up for a contract, and if he keeps making plays like that, he may just secure the bag. All right, come on, Summits. Let's guess pass here. Third and ten. Let's see what uh, Fields has here for us. Uh, it's got to be aware of the rushing attack, and it's a completion underneath there to Pat Fryermuth, but well short of the sticks as we were able to get the stop there by rookie DeCamry and Richardson. And we do not uh, pay for that uh, for that interception. The defense bailed us out, which is really, I mean, I got to say, the Summit's defense has really been kind of like the highlight of our season. I mean, we're holding teams to 20 points and, you know, not getting blown out. Teams aren't putting up 40 bombs. There's Minshew fourth in the league now in passing yards. So still pretty good behind some good company there gotta make sure we don't throw any more picks though starting from the 39 let's just uh come out mesh spot here we got brock bowers back and bowers is the target just gonna slide because we had a guy ready to pop us brock just came back from injury don't want to see him get injured again he oh yeah we're supposed to uh have a season goal for him i forget what it was but it was like 70 catches i want to say and he missed some pretty significant time, so not sure if he's going to reach that goal. We are going to stick with the running game here. I know it's Pittsburgh. We got to watch uh, TJ Watt, but we should be able to pick up one yard, one would think anyways. There's Abdullah. Nice scene. He's played pretty good for us so far this season. 
picking up five and moving the sticks. I think we'll have uh, Bowers block on this play because I do see TJ Watt. And we'll just see who can get open. We got somebody out there. It's Jacoby Myers. There we go. He wasn't able to get that touchdown grab earlier. But he is starting out here three for 50. And that's a good, good chain mover getting it to the 23 of Pittsburgh. Coach says TE attack. You know what? Sign me up. If you guys watch this channel uh, with any regularity, you know how I feel about the good old TE attack. I love it. And see if we can roll out to the left as I typically do. We should be able to. Ah, uh, just throw that away, man. That was an interception waiting to happen. God, I almost want to streak Trey Tucker here. But we'll stay conservative. RPO, he should have some space out front. He does. Beautiful block from Adams and Tucker. Oh, going to be stopped at the one-yard line. So close. But that's good. Way to bounce back after throwing that pick. We did not let it rattle us. Mika Fitzpatrick is just good. We know that. And 0-0, zero, zero, couple goose eggs on the scoreboard. But first down from the one, this is probably going to be three runs to Madison. Touchdowns will definitely help his cause. Remember, we're trying to get him a nice little uh, uh, upgrade scenario, dev up scenario. So scoring touchdowns will definitely help that. And Madison does get in. Very, very good. So, all right. Good, uh, good response. We're going to go up on the scoreboard. And hopefully our defense can keep playing at the level that they have. Oh, it's a fumble on the kick. Oh, Euster strip fumble. Hang on a second. I don't usually talk on the kick returns. That was uh, Tavon Austin there. And what in the heck happened? Oh, man, what a huge play. All right, so there's the kick from AJ Cole, and Austin fields it. Uh, it was a user strip fumble, so it was definitely on me. And who is the one that got it? It is Smith. I don't even know who Smith is necessarily. Uh, he He's a guy that doesn't really play. Uh, I, I can't think of who that is. It's probably somebody obvious that I'm missing, but uh, yeah, Ellerson Smith, Emerson Smith, I, I, I can't think right now. But regardless, uh, he made a heck of a play there, and we are right back on offense. How about that great field position to boot? Devontae Adams is getting pressed up, but you know what? I'm not going to let the devil in. Let's just give it to Madison, picking up four. Nice game, getting it to the 19-yard line. Third and two, do we trust the running game to pick up two hard-fought yards? Uh, I do. Because even if we don't get this, going up 10-0, I'm, I'm okay with that. Hopefully Madison can, and he will. By the skin of his teeth, fighting forward. He's at 7 for 12, so averaging just a little over 2 yards per carry. Not the best stat line in the world. But you know what? He's got a touchdown and looking for a touchdown number 2 here as well. Um, don't necessarily... Like the fact that we're running it over at TJ Watt's side. And yeah, we just got clogged up there. Lost two. So Madison not having the same type of game that he had last week. Behind the sticks now, unfortunately. So uh, maybe a little play action rollout with Minshew. Not the worst thing in the world. We're going to check it down to Madison, which is actually a good decision. And Madison fights forward for a decent gain there. But most importantly, getting it to the one yard line. And is this Y stick time, baby? It might just be Y stick time. Coach is suggesting it. You know, I'm looking at Devontae Adams. They do got a couple extra defenders there on our left, their right, which I don't necessarily like. Oh, no. What the fuck? No, see? That's what I was worried about. No, no. I, I, I even called it pregame. I even freaking called it pregame. Our pre. Pre-play, pre-snap. Alex Highsmith, I, they must have looked at the scouting report because I run that Y-stick effortlessly and I typically just take two steps, drop back, throw it to Adams, and it almost always works every time. But, I mean, Alex Highsmith was just waiting there. And I even said they got extra, extra guy on that side. But my boneheaded self, it's just like, I mean, the Y-stick to me, is like muscle memory, just like the, the TE attack. Like, I just snap the ball and it's reflexes because I do the same thing every time. 
And I mean, that's a great <laughs> Pittsburgh needed that. Uh, that's a that's a 14 point swing because uh, they they're about to go down 14 nothing, but instead they're tied 7-7. That's a huge, huge error by your boy. Okay, look at Madison's season. Um, you know, not the greatest, but he exploded last game. Last game is like half the yardage that you saw on the screen there um, probably came from last week or close to it anyways. I do see some press there with Devontae Smith. I also see Brock Bowers. So if TJ Watt blitzes, that could be the move. And it's another pick. What? Oh, my God, dude. This is falling apart. It's Deshaun Elliott that time. Okay. Got to lock in, man. Got to lock in. First interception was 100% on me. And I, what's up with this camera angle? Dude, I don't like it. I suppose you could say that one was too, but that was also just a really good play in fairness. Uh, But what, what just happened in this last, like, two minutes? I mean, we were about to go up 14 to nothing. Had a three and out, had a user strip fumble. Now we're about to go down on the scoreboard. Yeah, I don't like this one bit, guys. First and goal from the five. Can't even believe that I'm saying that. Oh, there we go. It's a sack. Isaiah Palomau, who I feel like we've called his name a couple times this season in big plays. I could be wrong, but I just feel like we have. And regardless, that was a... That was a great play there. Now it's first and goal from the 13. Never a position that you want to be in, but a one-handed haul-in by Pat Briermuth. Wow. I mean, that thing just literally just fell into his arms. Watch this on replay. I mean, he just reached out and... <laughs> Not much you can say about that other than a great play. And I was just feeling super, super comfortable. And now we are playing from behind. And Pittsburgh gets the ball after halftime as well. So we got to go down here and answer on offense. Yeah, definitely want to score here. Also, Devontae Adams could have him. Uh, no, but we do have Brock Bowers fresh back from injury. Making an immediate impact. Minshew with three interceptions already by the way and we're only in the first half so that's not good this is a really pivotal two minute sequence here because again like i said pittsburgh gets the ball after halftime and we do not want them to go up big abdullah has some blockers on the screen that's perfect kind of didn't even want to get out of bounds honestly but i also didn't want to risk a fumble or something like that so i just felt like it was the safest smartest decision and we'll see what we can do here uh, into Pittsburgh territory now. Maybe Adams on the slant or just Brock Bowers. Yeah, safe completion. Only a gain of two. I guess I'm fine with that. We're stopped there by Patrick Queen, new Pittsburgh Steeler this season. I might give Adams a chance. I want to see what uh, safety up there. I believe that's uh, that's Deshaun Elliott, not Fitzpatrick. But want to see kind of. Yeah, I don't really like that. Let's get sacked. Let's get sacked. That was TJ Watt. He had a little help from his buddy, one of his buddies in there in an injury timeout. Oh, it's Gardner Minshew. Oh, no. Gardner Minshew going to be hurt. So we're going to see for the first time this season, Aiden O'Connell. Aiden O'Connell going to come in number 12. We have not used him yet this season. And that's by design, 100%. And we're asking him to come in here and convert a uh, third and 16. Yeah. That maybe is possible, Adams. Actually had him there for a second. Ooh, Minshew will not come back this game either. So we're rocking with Aiden O'Connell for the duration. I, I wasn't prepared to say that. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Give the give the two-year man a chance and, and see what he's got. Maybe he'll... Spark us. Maybe he'll be our quarterback of the future based on what happens in this game. I highly doubt that. But you know what? Stranger things have happened. What do uh, Fields and the boys have here? Do they have a minute and 11 second drive on their hands? Oh, great, great diving tackle there by Nate Hobbs. He just got some money pregame, and he's like, look, Coach Smalls, I'm going to go to work for you, brother. You paid me. You trusted me, so 
I'm going to do what I can to help you, and uh, I like to see that. So second and ten, maybe uh, maybe we get the ball back. That would be awesome. Give Aiden O'Connell a little chance. That's a wide open Pat Fryermuth. Can't have that. May want to think about you stirring up a guy on Fryermuth every play because uh, right now he's causing some damage to us. It's all right. Let's uh, go man coverage here. Yeah, there's Fryermuth. Max Crosby has made little to no impact in this game. Good play by Divine Diablo. I wish he would have turned his body around and made a play for the interception. I would have absolutely loved that, but still not going to be upset with a nice, nice pass deflection. Uh, which is good. Yeah, but as I was saying, Max Crosby, though, just really has, has not done anything in this season. He's supposed to be our guy, you know? He's supposed to be our guy, and it is, to me at least, it seems kind of kind of hard to really get any pressure in Madden. Maybe I just suck. That is, that's definitely a possibility. I'm not ruling that out at all, but we need to see Max Crosby just take off, and why are receivers getting so open? In the field, that's Michael Gallup, who's not even playing in real life, gets it all the way down to the 30. But now, if they weren't in Chris Boswell range before, they, they most certainly are now. Got to play some damage control. Got to just hope we can go into the locker room down 17-7 as opposed to 21-7. Really hope Jalen Warren blocks, and that might be George Pickens' touchdown. And we're kind of getting carved up in this one. This is easily the worst that we've looked all season because, for the most part, we've looked pretty good this season. But Gardner Minshew, three picks. He's out for the game. Aiden O'Connell is in. Big question mark. We can't get the running game established at all. Let's see if we can at least get Devontae Adams in a single coverage here um, and just kind of, you know, throw up a, a prayer to him. And you know what? Does Aiden O'Connell have the arm to get it there? I mean, Devontae didn't even make a play on the ball. Was it just too far out in front of him? That could, man, how huge would that have been? Was this on O'Connell or was this on Adams? There's Adams. I mean, bro, that's a perfectly placed ball from O'Connell. And Adams just looks at it and does i mean where else do you want it we're gonna try it one more time though uh because it he's getting pressed up again too maybe this time he wants to catch a ball yeah i mean pretty much same result come on adams this time you oh dude and you know what <laughs> let's try it again why not third time's a charm right this time we're not gonna get pressed but still single high safety so Minka Fitzpatrick is the only one there. And yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll give him a shot. If they pick it off, they pick it off. So be it. And okay. <laughs> that was a very weird three plays, three same plays called in a row. But that is going to take us to halftime. Actually, why? I mean, just give him one more shot. It's only three seconds left. So, you know, nothing, nothing crazy is going to going to happen here. So yeah, I'll give him one more shot. Why not? And Aiden O'Connell is just... Yeah, he, he, he's, it's going to be tough to play with him. Uh, not the most accurate son of a gun out there and putting a little too much under his passes. But 21-7, Pittsburgh gets the ball back. We're not playing great. Still a lot of time to go, but our defense is going to have to rally and hopefully get us back in this ball game. Our defense has been showing up all season long, and we're going to need them to show up in a big, big way here. Down by two scores. And we lost our starting quarterback. We got no running game. It's, uh, you know, things are looking pretty tough here at Rubber City Stadium. That's good blanket coverage by Jack Jones, but a nice adjustment by George Pickens. And he is able to pick up six. Um, really curious to see how the rest of this game is going to go with O'Connell. I mean, maybe, uh, maybe he shocks me. You know, I don't know. I doubt it, but Najee Harris shocking me, picking up a first down. And Justin Fields and the Steelers moving the chains again. Third and inches here. It is going to be straight pressure up the middle. You better believe your freaking britches. Press coverage as well. Got to be uh, cognizant of the Justin Fields run, though. We know that he can do that. And can someone just get home? We had him for a split second with Johnson. But it's a completion to a Van Jefferson, who's like their fifth string wide receiver. Pat Fryermuth getting fired up. 
Pittsburgh doing whatever they want on us right now. Houston are up on big Christian Wilkins here. Maybe he can uh, stuff the run, stuff the lanes. Najee, there we go. Marcus Epps actually getting back there to drop him for a loss of one. So that is a good start to this sequence. Fields coming out single back. So we're going to assume it's a run. I am going to use her up on Tommy Eichenberg, though, just in case. I would like to have an extra guy out there in coverage. It is going to be Najee, and this could be six. Wow. It is going to be six. Okay. So Pittsburgh going up by three scores now, and we are going to put the weight of the world on our backup quarterback who only has one, one uh, offensive sequence played so far this season. I guess two, technically, or, or maybe just one. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, a large hill to climb, and we're up for the task, I think. But hold your breath, get your Tylenol, get your Vaseline, because, yeah, this one could be could be a bumpy ride. But, I mean, if we could somehow figure out how to run the ball, that would take a lot of pressure off of Aiden O'Connell. Send Mercedes Lewis in motion to have an extra blocker out there. I mean, that was that was a good, good start, but Cole Holcomb just came flying over to that side of the field or else we could have uh, could have had something big there fortunately only ended up being a gain of four um rock bowers though i'm gonna put i want abdullah to go out right because i'm proud oh yeah bowers is open can o'connell fit it in there no he cannot did not have the proper touch on that ball and that will make it third and six this one's not looking great guys not looking great at all I need a uh, Bryant or Bowers to get open. Maybe. Oh, Bowers is open and O'Connell finds him and Bowers may take it the distance. Welcome back, Brock Bowers to the lineup. There is some life on this Summits team after all. Man, I missed that dude. Don't get me wrong. Harrison Bryant played good. And who else do we have besides Harrison Bryant? Zach Gentry, Mercedes Lewis. He's in here for blocking. Once we get Michael Mayer back, though, we are going to have a formidable duo with those two tight ends. And how about Aiden, Aiden O'Connell delivering a strike? That was like a 70-something yard completion. Pretty good by the two-year man. And we get this thing back to a two-score game. Our defense just cooled down this Pittsburgh offense, though. That is the question. Pittsburgh not really known for their offense. They're, you know, they're more of a defensive team. And Fields, that is going to be, I think, holding. Should be coming back, right? Okay. An eligible man downfield. Same difference. I mean, I guess, you know, holding would have been uh, 10 yards. That's five yards. But still, I will most definitely take it. Got him behind the sticks a little bit here in a third and 15. I really don't like the fact, though, we don't want Tommy Eichenberg playing coverage. I guess we're going to have to settle for it. And that one is going to be hauled in there by Connor Hayward. Nice catch, nice completion, making it second and five. Got to get some guys here in the backfield, though. Maybe Robert Spillane is one of those guys. He, you know, he wants a contract. He's got to make some plays. That's a nice stop there by Divine Diablo. I thought Jalen Warren was going to have that first down easily. And that will make it a third and two which is a really good position for us to be in. You know, any third down is for that matter. But can we get him off the field? Can we get our offense back out here on the field? That is the question. Can Max Crosby make a play? Finally, it is just how are receivers so open, man? I mean, how? I understand we brought in our, you know, our base formation and everything, but how does Connor Hayward get, get so open? I mean, there's somebody blew an assignment there. That should never happen. Pittsburgh crushing it. Let's be a little risky, and we're going to have Divine Diablo blitz up the middle. It's risky because he's leaving his Bam. coverage assignment there. Bam, though. I think that was uh, Tyree Wilson getting back there, making the play. It most certainly was. Big third and eight coming up now. Going to have a blitzer here, Divine Diablo, and also I got Max Crosby. Oh, yeah, we got to watch Fields, man. It's Fields. First time he's done that all game. He has not really looked to escape the pocket. He's been more of a pocket passer. And that time on a key third down, he's able to escape the pocket, kill us with his legs. The rest is history. It's first and goal from the 10. 
Third quarter also winding down as well. It's going to be a play fake. Come on. Someone gets a field. There we go. That, I hope that was Max Crosby. I think it was. They might give it to uh, to Trayvon Merrick there. I'm not 100% sure. Somebody got the sack. I'm hoping it's Crosby. He really needs it. Either way, it was a good play. Uh, DeCamrian Richardson. Go ahead and play some man coverage there on the outside, please. And, I mean, stonewalled at the goal line. It's third and goal from the one. And that should take us to the end of the third. So 28-14, it's been an interesting game. Uh, we haven't looked too good today. I mean, it's going to take a lot to come back and win this game. I mean, if anything, that's uh, that connection between O'Connell and Brock Bowers was awesome. That was a really, really good play. We are, they are coming out zero wide receivers, though, so maybe Divine Diablo. I mean, we did stop him. We did stop him. See what Mike Tomlin does here. Surely he'll kick the field goal, right? It's injury timeout to one of their linemen, and they're actually, they're actually going for this. Gutsy, gutsy call. I mean, <laughs> I can't believe he's going for this. This is our opportunity, though. Like, if we can... We could somehow get them off of the field here, which is going to be tough. I know. Yeah. Okay. That very well could be the ball game. It's going to be a very tough mountain. It was already going to be a tough mountain to climb. Going to be even more tough. Justin Fields has impressed today. Got to give credit where credit's due. And so far, Pittsburgh has just completely outplayed us. Worst case scenario, though, we do want to put together a little bit of tape going into next week here. See what Aiden O'Connell's all about. I'm going to look at Devontae Adams. We're not going to go that way, though. We're going to nearly throw an interception. Trying to hit Brock Bowers on that corner route again. We tried that earlier. And uh, unfortunately, it's pretty much the same result. You know, not really. There's, there's no real chance for us to win this game. But I would like to at least put together, you know, a couple, a couple good drives here. It's Bowers again. He's playing good in his debut. Or not, not debut, but first game back from injury. Five catches for over 100 yards. Third and five, though. Can we uh, can we pick this up and convert this? That is the question. I am going to have Jacoby Myers go out because we got Brock Bowers on the drag, and it's going to be Bowers. Bowers catches it, and he's having a monster game. Monster game for Brock Bowers, which is about the one good takeaway of this one. Eight minutes to go. Got the ball to the 41. We may look Brock Bowers' way again. I'm going to send Adams, not even because I really want him to be the target, but I want to try to clear out some room for Bowers. Bowers is open, and he catches it again. That wasn't even really the best, uh, the best pass from O'Connell. Kind of laid it out there a little bit too far for him, but nice adjustment from Brock Bowers. You know, game is not technically over. Like, it is... But it's not. I mean, we, you know, we could. It's it would it would take a lot. Uh, well, it's gonna take more than that. Jacoby Myers not able to haul it in. But we're not like you know mathematically out of it. Seven minutes. Our our defense can't make a stop though. That's the only problem. Uh, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let's go uh, screen pass here to Abdullah. He's got some blockers out in front, bobbing and weaving. Amir Abdullah picking up a nice first down. Go TE attack. Coach called it too. And, you know, let's see if we can continue this uh, Brock Bowers magic. He might have it. He does. Brock Bowers. Just an absolute beast, man. He should get a breakout scenario or something for this game. He should. He's definitely should get an upgrade after this game. But that's his second touchdown. He's got like... 150 yards or something like that and it's his first game back so he he must have been uh chomping at the bit to get back here on the field T game is not technically over but we have to get a stop on this play three and out or turnover preferably you would kind of figure that pittsburgh is going to be in run chew clock mode <laughs> of course as i say that here they come out passing the ball need a trying to use their strip but, uh, you know, trying to do that and Connor Hayward's breaking every tackle known to man. I don't know why they're, yeah, they're coming out like gun. Like they're trying to, trying to play for the, for the, uh, you know, go ahead score here or something like that. It makes no sense to me, but here we are. And maybe that will allow our defense to get a, 
interception or something? I, I highly doubt it. Tried to shoot it there with Nate Hobbs and Justin Fields looking like a prime Tom Brady out here in this one. That's got to be like a bug from EA, man. No team in this position right here. That was close. Marcus Epps might have had that one. But there's no team up two scores that would be. I'm not saying that a team wouldn't pass the ball at all, right? Because because they could. But, I mean, there's no shot that teams wouldn't be running the football and only passing when they absolutely had to. And that's exactly what we're seeing here from Fields. And it's going to be a sack from Tyree Wilson. That's what I'm saying. Like, why would you why would you do that? I, I do not know. And now they find themselves in a third and 19. So can our defense just come up big here and get them off the field? If they pick up 19 yards here, I'm going to cry. They might have a shot at it. And he hauled it in, but... Is that going to be a holding? That is so, so lucky because he actually hauled that football in. I can't even believe that he did, but he did. And on third and 29 here, just don't get beat deep. That's the only thing that we can't have happen. Just don't get beat deep. That's the only thing that matters. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you and I mean, you have got, you've got to literally be kidding me right now. It just makes no sense to me. Justin Fields at 270 for three touchdowns. And I mean, that that's inexcusable. Inexcusable defense. It's terrible. It's terrible defense. It's caught there by, uh, by Roman Wilson, the rookie. And I mean, that essentially seals up the ball game. And that will do it. I threw a pick on the Hail Mary, uh, just throwing it up with Aiden O'Connell. But, you know, I was just kind of trying to trying to pad some stats there. Garner Minshew walking around like he's OK. Hey, uh, you want to maybe he'll come back next week. We did not see what the injury was. Um, but, you know, Garner Minshew didn't really play that good when he was in today. So I don't know, you know. But 42 21, it's not pretty. Pittsburgh defense had four interceptions. Justin Fields nearly with the perfect quarterback rating 277 yards on 87% completion. In what world? In what world? Minshew, uh, a little reality check here only 166 yards, three interceptions. Aiden O'Connell, though, had two touchdowns and 150 yards. So, I mean, he outplayed Minshew hands down. Madison, much different performance from last week, only averaging 1.3 yards. Had a touchdown, yes, uh, but Najee Harris had a great game, 11 for 84, 7.6 average and two touchdowns. The big takeaway from this game, though, is Brock Bowers. Eight catches, 164 yards and two touchdowns. That could be player of the week potential. And aside from that, I mean, nobody else really came to play. Jacoby Myers had an okay game. But uh, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't pretty at all from the Akron Summits. Tyree Wilson had a sack. Hey, Max Crosby gets half a sack. What do you know? About freaking time, Isaiah Palomao gets a sack. We had no picks. Tyree Wilson had a good game, yes. Uh, that one was tough, though, but just got to shake it off and get ready for next week. Well-deserved upgrade for Tyree Wilson. What does he need to get better at? I mean, he is a uh, he's a power rusher. 75 power moves. Yeah, not really going to get it done. So, of course, we'll just go power rusher. He has a chance to be something. I mean, he's he's playing up to a 78. Really, he's a 74, but only a second year in the league. You know, one good game. He gets a breakout scenario, and he could end up being something for us. Isaiah Palomao gets upgrade, too. I would definitely say that was worth it also. But the big news is, okay, no injuries. That's good. So, or is it good? I don't know. We're going to have Gardner Minshew back next week, but you see Brock Bowers gets a little shout out there. Just keep throwing it Brock Bowers way. And we may have to, if we want to win, got the LA Rams should be a pretty, uh, pretty manageable game, but then Kansas city in week eight. And we'll have to see if Kansas city lost this game. We're still four and two AFC West does kind of suck still, but definitely some work to be done next week. But that is going to do it for me tonight, guys. As always, I appreciate you stepping by. I will catch you on the next one. Until then, peace.